Good morning, Pastor Larry here. It's Wednesday, August 19th. Hope you're planning on being here tonight as we continue our uh, watching of this chosen. And uh, I believe it'll be a good time, good fellowship. Uh, we are going to live stream it, but I prefer that you be here. I think you would prefer it too. Uh, fellowship face to face is always sweeter. Yesterday, we started the passage in 1 John chapter 1, verses 5 through 10. And we looked at verse 5 yesterday, talking about God is light and in him is no darkness at all. Today, we're going to look at verses 6 and 7. It says this, If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. The blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth us from all sin. So if God is light and in him is no darkness at all, then I am in him and he is in me, then I too should be light in which there should be no darkness at all, right? All right, well, how often or how many times have I said this or have you said this to yourself or to others? I'm doing okay. I'm a good Christian who walks daily with God. Yet, while I'm saying these things or while you're saying these things to yourself, there's willful sin in my life that I know God has convicted me of. And I know no one else has done that, right? It's just me. Well, it's like walking around with the greatest flashlight in the world at the darkest time of night, but refusing to turn it on. Paul said it this way to young Timothy, having the form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. You might say, okay, how do I walk in this light? Well, the easy answer is turn on the light. If you don't agree that we are walking in as dark a time as it has ever been, then it's likely that your fellowship or your fellowship is with the darkness. So we need to flip the switch. We need to turn on that light. Spend some time in the light. Go where the light is the brightest. I know what some of you are thinking right now. He's going to say, read your Bible. Yes, I am. Read your Bible. It's an important thing for the child of God to do, to spend time in God's word. It is the light in this dark world. It is where you will get your light. It is like having the greatest flashlight in the world, yet never turning it on. You walk around with the word of God so readily available. And you might say, well, I don't want to carry around a big old Bible. Guess what? There's apps. I have three Bible apps, two or three Bible apps on my phone, okay? And both two of them that I know will read the Bible to me and have audio Bible, and they cost nothing. The Bible is so readily available for you. Read your Bible. Some of you might be saying, he thinks we should go to church more. Yes, go to where the light is brightest. Listen, this, is, this church is a place where God's word should be exalted, lifted to the highest place so that it shines the brightest. Listen, when the light is at the highest point and the brightest is when you can have the best vision, no shadows. It's a great place for a light to be. And yes, you should spend more time in God's house with God's people where God's word is lifted up. Why on earth do you want anything to do with darkness? Well, the Bible has the answer for that too, and it's found in first or in John chapter three, verse nineteen. And Jesus Christ said this, and this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world, but men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. You know, I want to encourage you this morning to get out of the darkness, step into the light. It's a choice, and the choice is yours. Some of us need to quit lying to ourselves and convincing ourselves that we are walking in the light as we continually hurt ourselves for lack of sight due to lack of light. It's a simple choice. Why don't we make it? Jesus said it best, and it's very condemning because we're lovers of darkness. We have the greatest light offered to us. It's so readily available. The gospel should excite you. God's word should excite you. Spending time with God's people should excite you. And if it doesn't, turn the switch on. Have a good day. God bless. Love you. And all that remains is a fire so bright. The whole world can see that there's something different. So come and be.